The ritual subversions of the United States and its allies includes, but is not limited to, the function of engaging in local community functions that might engage in the political discussions with the agents specifically designed for the provocating of the objective of the wizards who have hired them contracted through their fascist companies which then generates the pretense of the expansion of the infections specifically designed by the arrangements of the wizards in the manipulation for this contest to continue the system requires the professional engagement of the dismantlement of the local communities who not being properly uh, tailored towards this specific advantage similar to the function of when oil companies would seek to uh, take over a town and engage in uh, shill drilling at which point the engagement has many who would naturally sell the land for untold fortunes which is clearly oversold which then generates the pretense of exploiting each and every one of their weaknesses as they are cut piece by piece by piece into abject poverty as they are complemented not only with the false promises of wealth but also with the indebtedness with those promised wealth as collateral generating the acceleration out of poverty into the imagined wealth which then entraps them into a permanent state as a viable mechanism of the use of warfare by non-direct violence or the advancements of the scam. Now, these types of techniques would be expanded in exponential amount of areas and subjects, anything that they could come up with which would hurt the general commoner would generically be promoted under these mechanisms, which includes, but is not limited to, the function of dismantling their aristocracy or the function of their stabilizing uh, forces and thus turning them against those that they know or don't know are essential to them generates the mechanism of their collapse as their defense structures when they do not understand that they are in combat um, are dismantled by themselves at which point the remedy cannot come because the function under the legal engagement is that they have done the crime themselves at which point they having been entrapped into their own stupidity by the expert manipulators have engaged in the function of having to participate with their own demise and having to participate with their own destruction actively rebel against the function of their survival and to this action, the function of them escaping it, becoming exponentially more difficult than when they got into it, having been chosen on the basis of their weakness, actively prevents them from engaging in any solution that isn't counterproductive, as every solution is the easy way out, and the only way out is only getting harder each time they take the easy way of delaying the weights the weights exist for the exit ramp and the exit having the only depository for the weights means by definition they'll have to nut up and gain some discipline in order to escape the demise of their own stupidity derived by their adversaries using extra creative mechanisms for their legal scams in order to engage in the function of destroying those parties requiring the function of the intelligence oversight to protect them under the zombie apocalypse insurance mechanism which then would have secured them from the original mistake and would have generated the foundational masculinity essential 
to have had the discipline necessary who have not fallen into the trap in the first place. And to the extent that it is their own fault, they wallow in their self-pity and make their own lives exponentially worse, which is an inescapable cycle. They eat because they're fat, and they're fat because they eat. Entire departments of the United States military have specifically been derived for the purposes of the Confederates' overthrow of the system, which has then systemically engaged in its fraudulent actions as the mechanisms of being able to destroy our enemies abroad are then brought home, and the function of messing with the enemy makes the people the enemy for the insurrection. And to this extent, you exponentially need mechanisms at the level of the opposition in order to sustain the mental load necessary to survive that engagement. To this extent, the action of having restrained those functions from the aristocracy have formed the function of dismantling each and every aspect of their survival, making the inevitability of their doom by the undead hordes fundamentally derivative. So, to this extent, you have the mechanism of the choice of life or the choice of death, and the engagements of merely ignoring the thing for the easy route or the middle route sustain yourself from ignoring the directly obvious problems while engaging in avoiding the necessary actions in order to engage in the solution which puts them in a perpetual function of the illusion or simulation reality which then is fruit of the poison tree which engages in the multitude of vulnerabilities to other forms of poison, such as the rampant pestilence and disease natural to the function of those engaged in artificial warfare. To this extent, you actually have false evidence planted from the fact that there's a simulation underneath the control, and thus you have the proof of crimes committed by somebody else misdirected towards other parties, which then man uh, manipulates the function of the structured system against itself until it has validated its own destruction, and this compounding on itself, having removed all of the strategic securities, have then compromised the mechanism of power, water, and other essential functions to survival, as they are the makers of their own destruction. They fester in the diseased-filled destruction of their own making and incompetence, requiring the function of their uh, masculinity to be derivative for the express uh, maturity of their escape from these systems, which again are highly complicated data sets, which requires the equivalent opposition to the functions that have met against them. And the function of multi million dollar corporations having funded the function, and multi billion dollar military operations which have funded the engagement puts them at the highest possible disadvantage, requiring the function of a yet higher system, which they know about in whispers, and refuse to deal with, as the function requires them to subordinate uh, themselves to payments and services owed to those parties which they have dismantled in favor of conducting the advantages of their spells, which have engaged in the action of using them for material components for the false assertions of good towards their interests in their delusions. And as psychotic delusional 
fools, they have pursued these mechanisms, which have matured and validated the rape culture of their abusers into their own systems, which then have systemically made them ingest into themselves the negative karma associated with their adversaries, which then become their sin. And they, having eaten the sin of their adversaries, stew in their diseased fill uh, societies, which then have the inevitability of collapse for the express purpose of their own degeneracy. And when the system of their disease has reached its apex function, and they have destabilized themselves from the security the most. And this is the point when the undead nuke is set upon them. And their scavenged life becomes scorched earth. As the warfare tactics have actively been conducted against them at their all-time weakness. As they have been prepared for the slaughter of their own choosing they have manufactured their death they have certified their own death they have guaranteed the function and certified every single weakness which will be compounded on infinitely as their sins reach to the skies against themselves and their communities on the basis of their refusal to repent and to heal their lands because it costs too much to survive whether it be arrogance impudence or any other social intellectual weakness it would be exploited infinitum but before the eradication they must be properly seasoned and thus the function of them becoming aware and thus alerted to the function of their own demise beyond the simple warnings that they would have ignored or be used to ignoring, would then normalize the function of them using their magic, which they have relied on for their false superiority, in order to assert their death. To this extent, the function of every solution that they would have propagated would then be the story of the monkey's paw wish and having conducted the monkey's paw wish each and everything that they ask for is then undermined while the delivery is certified as the ones providing the quote-unquote monkey's paw would be the very undead which seek their full extermination and thus are overwhelmingly excited ecstatic at the pretense that they would be dumb enough to use the paw and in the action conduct the function of delivering their wish which is under their intentions and thus is not the intention of those who wish to destroy them as those who wish to destroy them were perfectly benign until the order was given, such as, but is not limited to, the function of engaging in the trapping of particular parties in order to make them love you, or make them pay for a contract, or make them give you particular fame, or fortune, or whatever normal thing that people would ask, including the original narrative of the monkey's paw, where the fools who took it in the first place would have given an arbitrary request in order to see whether or not it's true a test question such as the requesting for a small amount of money and that small amount of money was then given to them because of the death of their son who died in a war and the function of their son dying in a war is then engaged in the subversion of requesting that the son be alive but the party that asked for the son to be alive 
was worried about the function in the war, which they've already received the money for from his death, which turned the son into undeath. And then the action of getting the son to come home was then materialized into the returning of the corpse of the undead, which then finalized the wish of killing the undead. And the person who did so ordered the death of his undead son so that he could dispose of the corpse so that his wife would not have to deal with it. And thus the function of using the monkey's paw creates the undoing of the party who uses it. The wielder is the primary victim of their own foolish incompetence. So they would, in one hand, ask for, in this particular example, the people who would solve their problems or that they would want to. Uh, obviously, the correct answer is asking for what you should ought to ask for. But then you having in your delusions found out that the trap exists, you have set the party on the defamation scale, which generates your negative reaction to those that you need, and having asked for it, have found out the quandary, and the only way for you to deal with it is to wish your way out, or to work your way out, and the function of becoming a mature adult not being a viable option for those set on a suicide schedule, only wish themselves into greater and greater depravity and tell the inevitability of their doom by their own hands. In order to escape their self-manufactured doom, they would have to become mature, competent, viable members of society and eat the shit sandwich of their own creation, but they are unwilling to do so. Kicking the can down the road is fundamental to the trap of their death. And to this extent, their wish compromises them against their illusions and previous mechanisms of superiority on the basis of their sorceries. And to this end, those that they wish to be insulting engage in the function of being praised by virtue of the insult. And thus, the confession of the negative retaliation is the realization that the party receiving the insult was actually just being retaliated against on the basis of jealousy. The fact that the thing is not true, the fact that the thing is materially a benefit to the general public, which the other party wishes to not be so, and has created an illusion for it, has then spit its venom in the general community, and has poisoned the well of the general waters, so that everyone then becomes infected, and thus they attack those who are giving them the disease, and they actively have repelled those who would cure it, and thus in the action have made life exponentially worse. Take, for instance, the common con of having a wizard council being able to edit the conversation between one party and another party under the game of the evil stick of gum where the participant is who is being questioned who has been summoned by the other party would then actively be subordinated to all of the edits of the wizard's council who is trying to undermine the function of the person that summoned them that needs to do the responsible thing in order to survive. The action is then undermined as the retaliation by that party against the wrong person is then guaranteeing their own 
destruction by the retaliation instead of the recognition of their illusions which would then reveal the evil stick of gum or the wizard's council which has then engaged in the function of having specifically undermined them and in that action they refuse to defend themselves because of their delusion and in the action of their delusion engage in the guarantee of their own destruction as they go deeper and deeper into the mess of their delusion which they cannot escape because escape requires them to confess to the reality of the illusion which they have ordered by their magic and thus the disillusionment of their magic by reality then facilitates the acknowledgement of their crimes and the debts owed from their crimes for the obligation of the restoration of the legal reality which then puts them at the disadvantage and no longer the false pretense of their importance as the ones that they are most heinously opposed to were designed specifically to be the most essential to their stability and security and to this end have guaranteed the mechanism of their choice of their life or their self-importance is their ego worth more than the legitimacy of their own survival and of the survival of their loved ones is their hatred of reality more important than the well-being of those that make them themselves so tell me dear adventurer do you have the fortitude to restore their constitution that they might not die by their lack of wisdom or is it an inevitability that they cannot be convinced as they cling to their delusional suicide